Hello everyone, this is iCourage. I welcome you to this episode. I'm so sorry that I have been on and off um, in recent times. Um, it's just a busy schedule. Um, for those who don't know, I am a full-time PhD student and doing other things as well. So it makes it a little bit challenging to juggle all these things. But I promise you that um, I'm going to be very regular and make sure I update you every week um, henceforth and then give you more information about international student study. And also let you know the various um, um, study grants and scholarships available and also give you the tips and tricks on the various ways to also um, get um, permanent residency in um, specifically in Australia as well. So guys, in this episode, I'm going to show you some of the study grants available from Monash University for international students who want to study master's and bachelor's program. So undergraduate and postgraduate program. So I'll be right back to talk to you more about this very information. So if this is your first time watching iCourage, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel and watch out for more of such information. I'll be right back. Guys, you're welcome back. This is the iCourage and if this is your first time, please subscribe to my channel and become part of the iCourage family. This is very interesting information I'm going to tell you right now because um, at the moment, Australia is the only country that gives full-time work rights to international students. No country in this world has given full-time work rights to international students apart from Australia. So this makes Australia the most preferred study destination because if you are currently an international student in Australia, you can work full time while you're studying. Is this not exciting? It means that you just need only the first um, semester fee to pay. And then as soon as you're here, you're able to work full time to pay for the remaining fees for the entire duration of your course. So this is an opportunity that I want everyone to really grasp and take advantage of. So guys, let me take you straight straight to this um important information um at monash university and i have logged in as an international student so this is the page i'm going to leave the link in the youtube description page where you can check it out yourself and if you are interested especially those who are about to finish their high school and you are willing to travel overseas to start their bachelor's program or those who already have their bachelor's and want to do um master's program in coursework this is an advantage and this is an exciting opportunity for you because you just need to be ready to be enrolled into a master's or a bachelor's program and then you will be eligible for this international study grant 2022 now let me let um let me inform you that um the next intake it's in july which is pretty close um and the next one will be in september for a lot of universities in australia so guys if you are willing to study this is the right time for you to take advantage of for the september intake as well so you can enjoy the 2022 grant now let me go further and explain this to you so apply for your course today and be automatically assessed for a monash university international student study grant what it means is that as soon as you apply for the program at monash university you are automatically assessed for this grant so you don't have to apply for this grant separate um, separately it's going to be part of your um, application to study as a student in this university now let's go straight down and see what the grant is all about now it says international applicants for a monash university australia undergraduate or postgraduate course will be automatically assessed for an international study grant offer so like i said all you need is to apply for an undergraduate program which is a bachelor's program or a postgraduate program which is a master's program and master's by coursework of course and then you will automatically be assessed you don't need to submit a different application you don't need to submit a separate application you will automatically be assessed on this and let's see what it entails here it says study grants are offered at 
either five thousand um, dollars australian dollars or ten thousand depending on the outcome of your assessment so applicants must have a conditional or full offer letter to study at monash university campus so one of the eligibility is to make sure you have applied for the program and you have either a conditional offer or a full offer so once you have either of these conditional offer or full offer um to study at the university you will automatically be assessed and the outcome will also be dependent on your um academic let's say background or your academic achievement so you either get five thousand dollars or you get the whole ten thousand dollars which is super super good now let's see depending on the offer amount this is paid in either one or two payments of five thousand per semester so what it means is that if your offer says that you have been awarded five thousand um, dollar study grant then it will be paid in one semester if your offer says you've been um you've been granted a ten thousand um, dollar grant then the ten thousand dollars will be paid in one semester five thousand and the other semester five thousand now the advantage of this grant is that most universities or almost every university in australia will actually make you pay the the, the course deposit before you'll be able to apply for your visa and the course deposit is almost more all the time three subjects for the first semester of your course and three subjects depending on the course you're studying ranges from five thousand to ten thousand so if you have this grant it means that you don't even have to pay for that fees all you need to do is to organize your health insurance and buy your plane ticket and your medicals for the visa that's it which is cheaper than getting five thousand or ten thousand dollars to pay for the first semester fee and like i said once the first semester fee is paid for you through the study grant it means that when you come to australia you can work full time because this is currently the work right available by the australian government you can work full time and be able to pay the remaining balance of your fee so this is really 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 important and i want you to take advantage of this great opportunity now it says you must study a minimum 12 credit point load per semester to maintain your grant so the 12 credit um, points load is basically a full-time study load so if you're an international student you need to make sure you maintain a full-time study load um, as per your um, visa requirement so that is also something you need to take note of now let's scroll down to see am i eligible <clears throat> so if you apply to become a new international student at monash university australia and have an offer to study like i said before you will automatically be assessed monash university international study grants are awarded based on select eligibility criteria including so you need to check this side very very carefully so the first one is study level you must be a new commencing students undertaking either undergraduate or master's program so before you be an eligible student you need to be a new student number one and you need to make sure you have an offer for undergraduate program like a bachelor's program or you need to have an offer for a master's program master's by courseway number two criteria says students must meet academic entry requirements definitely if you don't meet the entry requirements you will not get an offer that's the reason you need to first of all um, get an offer before you become eligible so you need to meet the entry requirements and have a conditional offer so that is the eligibility number two you need to have a conditional offer to study at monash university australia campus so it is australia campus monash university and you need to also make sure you're undertaking a master's or undergraduate program number three says monash is committed to providing equitable access to education from underrepresented regions in countries so what it means is that you need to be a citizen of a developing country you need to be a citizen of a country other than australia or the uk or new zealand or canada or us so underrepresented um um, um countries or regions are considered so any um any uh 
any um, developing country and most of my subscribers are from India, Sri Lanka, um, Nigeria, Ghana, um, Brazil, Colombia. So these are all developing countries and if you are listening to me or you're watching me right now and you are in a country that is not considered a Western country, a first world country, you are eligible to apply for this particular grant. So basically, this is what this scholarship is about. Once you have um, applied for, so these are some students who really got um, got these grants, and this person is from Malaysia, Sri Lanka, Indonesia, Vietnam, Thailand, India. So these countries are all eligible to apply. So guys take advantage of this important information you just have to go to how to apply go to international student applications and yes kickstart your application to become uh, a Monash University student and enjoy the amazing international study grant 2022 remember it is five thousand dollars or ten thousand dollars for your study and once you get this chance or you get this opportunity you will be in australia and like i said you will have the opportunity to work full time so many people are really concerned about will i be able to work when i even come here so that i can continue paying my fees yes this australia is very different from other countries you will be given a full-time work right at the moment international students have full-time work rights no restriction on their work so you can work you can do any job full-time monday to friday as long as you have time to attend classes you'll be able to work full-time and pay your fees and be able to continue studying in australia unlike other countries where you have only 40 hours or even some countries they don't even allow you to work even outside the university or to work at all australia is very different and that is the reason i encourage you to choose australia and become part of australian international student and you will really enjoy this amazing opportunity so guys if you are happy you're excited and you want to be part of international students here in australia come on take advantage of this program go to how to apply click on the international student applications and kick start your journey to study in australia in my next episode i'll be talking to you about people who are currently outside australia they have different skill sets like there are teachers there are nurses there are carpenters how you can use your skill sets to also travel to australia as a migrant rather than a student and if i also get um scholarships and study grants i'll be sharing that as well with you and all these will happen in my next or subsequent episode so make sure you subscribe to my channel and i'm so sorry that i have been on and off like i said i promise you i'm going to be very regular and i'm going to be um, updating you on information on study grants and scholarships as well anytime you have any question make sure you put it in my youtube um comments leave your questions in the comment section or you can send me an email um icoach.bm at gmail.com and i'm more than happy to chat you to support you in your application do not pay any money to anyone do not pay any money to even an agent to do that for you because you can do that yourself once you have a better understanding and this is why icoach is here to give you the clear path and explain to you what you need to do so you will be empowered to do these things yourself remember this is i coach i'll catch you same time in my next episode stay safe stay positive and choose australia